Hello, everybody. We're getting ready to do 6.4 of Algebra 2. Select and draw uh, solutions from samples. Uh, it's part one of this. Part two and part three are available here. 6.4, select and draw conclusions. Part one. We have uh, 34 points here on a skill sheet. And then we got eight points here of notebook taking. S teachers, here is your bell work for your students as they walk in the class. <clears throat> graph three equations of the given form, like this here. The equations should use the same mean, but different standard deviations. So, and then reasoning describe the effect <clears throat> of the standard deviation on the shape of a normal curve. So let them put three manifestations of this. Give them about five minutes. Okay, <clears throat> students, here is your solution here. Here's three different examples here of, of uh, having different standard deviations and its effect on a standard normal curve. <clears throat> and then here's a sample answer for B. As a standard deviation decreases, the normal curve gets steeper. So it gets scrunched in further here and it draws the curve up when you have a more dense standard deviation structure. Okay, before you use statistics to describe sets of data, you will study different sampling methods for collecting data. So you can interpret the results of a survey. And this is all from 6.4, select and draw conclusions. A population is a group of people or objects that you want information about. When it is too difficult, time consuming, or expensive to survey everyone in the population, the information is gathered from a sample or sub of the population. In a self-selected sample, members of a population can volunteer in the sample, in a systemic sample, a rule is used to select members of a population, such as the other person. In a convenient sample, easy to reach members of a population are selected, such as in the first row. In a random sample, each member of a population has an equal chance. Okay, for example one, classifying examples. A sports writer wants to survey college baseball coaches about whether they think wooden bats should be mandatory throughout college baseball. Identify the type of sample described here. So the sports writer contacts only the coaches that he has a cell phone numbers for in order to get quick responses. The sports writer select coaches that are easily accessible, so the sample is a convenient sample. The sports writer mails out surveys to all the coaches and uses only the surveys that are returned. The coaches can choose whether or not to respond, so the sample is a self-selected sample. Okay, got to practice here. We'll do this one, students. This one's on you. Uh, if you need extra room, attach a sheet, take a picture of it with your camera and send it in. Two points up here, four points down here. A taxi cab company wants to know if its customers are satisfied with the service. Each driver surveys every 10th during the day. Identify the type of sample described, then tell if the sample is biased. Explain your reasoning. So because every 10th customer surveyed the sample is systemic, because the sample is representative of the population, it is unbiased. So if that would be the situation here. So bias in sampling, in order to draw accurate conclusions about population from a sample, you should select an unbiased sample. An unbiased sample is representative of the population you want information about. A sample that overrepresents or underrepresents part of the population is a biased sample. So here, example two, identify a biased sample. 
a manager of a concert hall wants to know how often people in the community attend concert. The manager asks 50 people standing in line for a rock concert how many concerts per year they attend. Tell whether the sample is biased or unbiased. Explain your reasoning. Sample is biased because people standing in line for a rock concert are more likely to attend concerts than people in general. So it is a biased sample. Here's our second guided practice here. Four points for you students and two points for us. A school website, computer science teacher wants to know if students would like the morning announcement posted on the school's website. <clears throat> he surveyed students in one of his computer science classes, identified a type of sample described, and tell whether to buy it. So in that situation, the computer science teacher selects students that are easily accessible. So the sample is a convenient sample. The sample is biased because students in the computer science class are more likely to get their information off a computer. This 6.4 part one, if you want part two and part three, email me here. You want worksheets, solution PowerPoints, email me here. Thank you.